Tesla Gigafactory construction update for all sites globally as of December 7th, 2020. Welcome to My Tesla Weekend. Giga Shanghai. There seems to be a lot more pavement in this area and a new bit of construction where the old office farm was, it's been leveled. There may be some new construction going in. They're going to be using this space for something. It may just be parking, but it may be a new building. We don't know yet. There does appear to be a piling machine on site right here, and uh, that could indicate that they're going to be building something of significant weight. Big shout out to my 307 subscribers. I don't know how you clever robots found this channel, but I am so glad to have you here. On this side, you can see the bridge, the new bridge is moving along nicely. It's being completed quickly and ingress and egress should progress quickly, I guess. At the top of phase two, where the ramp used to be, there were a handful of pilings and footings put in place last week. And this week you can see there are substantially more. This place is going to be built into a big building quickly. You can already see one, two, three, about eight steel vertical columns with a bunch more on site ready to be put in place. <laughs> the pace of erecting steel pillars, steel columns, is something that Texas has got to learn from our good friends in Shanghai. Quick note, since YouTube seems committed to ensuring I never manage to monetize this channel, I do now have a Patreon with the link in the description below. Even a dollar a month would help, but... I'm just glad you're here. Giga Berlin. The building is moving very quickly at this point. You can see new roof structures over the newly built area. The new weird column at the end is filling out quickly. The additional roof areas may not look like much, uh, but concrete work is being completed underneath. And this whole dirt courtyard area has massive concrete structures underneath it to support immediate construction. And you can see that weird little cube has a lot of completion. In the casting area, you can see a lot more roof columns. Uh, roof supports, roof trusses, and general work being completed. Und meine Freunde in Deutschland ist echt geil. Die sind echt geil. Und mein Deutsch ist immer noch schlimmer, weil ich bin ein bisschen doof. Oh, look here. At the front of the building, we've got not just more columns, but uh, new trusses and floors, floor spans in place. That's echt fantastisch. And there's a lot being done here. You can see more horizontal trusses, vastly more floor work for the second floor over the loading dock on phase one, and more vertical columns at the front of the building. And they've cleared out a trench for something. My gosh, look at the progress here. So many more roof spans 
and roofing material being put in place. This a building is going to be a completely dried in in like three weeks is my guess. If there are ways you guys want me to do these videos differently or additional insights you feel I could provide to further understanding, speak your mind in the comments and know that I do read every single one. What am I missing or misunderstanding? Leave a comment below and if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up if you appreciate the video, and subscribe if you're not already. It's the only way YouTube knows to share this with others who share the same fascination with this stuff as you and me. This is, in fact, the exact same roof area, but a week later. And not only is it closed in, but you can see the sealant is down, the two layers of insulation are down, the vapor barrier is down beneath them, and the sealant is going on atop them. Over here, we didn't think much of this last week, this bit of heavy machinery, but those are harvesters. And in the bottom, you can see they be harvesting. This area being cleared was originally put in the site plan as grounds for phase two. Now, one channel, Tobias Lind, has said that this is going to be a logistics and prepping area, but it could transition easily or immediately to use as phase two of construction upon completion of phase one. And look at all that lumber, all that pulp going off to make grand fresh new toilet paper for your butts. Giga Texas. The gazebo has expanded as it does. There's so much additional steel work, steel material on the ground ready to go. The number of footings has increased a substantially a once again as it do. A big development this week is that the scalloped pit, the serrated pit, now has been filled with the first layer of mud upon which rebar can be placed, and forms have been put at the edges of it in each of the scallops for construction of larger pillars. There's a substantial amount of rebar on site, which is being used to fill all of the new squares cut into the ground as they're completed. The large pit is beginning to cease to be a pit as substantial earthworks have been done to backfill in around it. See how the pit is not a pit so much? See how all of the interior is being completed? And the large concrete structure, which last week was essentially sticks, is now a few more sticks and quite a bit of roof material. We estimate this is about 100 feet tall, about 180 to 200 feet in width, and uh, in the fatness about uh, about 100 feet so maybe it's 300 feet wide i don't know i don't know what do you think you tell me in the comments you guys are way smarter than me this bottom corner may appear to require geopeering work, but that was done about a month ago. All that's required here is additional, uh, mostly additional footings. Uh, and as you can see in the bottom, the, the footing squares being cut in have moved further south on the property. There are, as of these videos, about a hundred and, uh, 103, 104, uh, footers, uh, requiring concrete. At the bottom left, you can see the 
perimeter of the building has been put in, it's been installed, it's been cut about a quarter of the way of the building, and about half of that has been filled with concrete. And the cement plant, the concrete plant to the north, the temporary batch plant, last week had a monumental mountain of gravel, and now it's all gone. And it hasn't been removed, it's been transformed into concrete for use on the site. You can see in this shot just how much bigger the steel structure has become, though it has got to pick up the pace to complete ever, let alone in time for the increasingly unlikely December 30th dry-in date. If this doesn't pick up the pace, and I mean right quick, there is zero chance it's going to be getting interior work in the next four weeks. And here's the batch plant where you can see the mountain of sand and gravel is just gone. That's it for this week's update. Stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to see you clever robots on the flippity-flop.